Well, this man has proven to be quite the impressive Lucha competitor. But with a newfound killer instinct. And his opponent, representing Lazcano del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico, weighing in at 190 pounds, Cruz del Toro! Cruz del Toro has a new attitude that some would say has lit a fuse in him. Yeah, now del Toro does things his own way. Whether he's representing a family or standing alone, you must respect Cruz del Toro. A ton of potential finally coming to light with his hardened attitude. Would you look at the size of this human being? Seven feet tall. 355 pounds. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 355 pounds, Commander Aziz. It is impossible to overstate the staggering height of Commander Aziz. Yeah, he's big. Oh, well, this dude, Commander Aziz, he's just ruthless. You know what they say, Cole, all is fair in love and war, but tonight, Aziz has chosen war. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. Corey, I will never forget the night that you and I had the opportunity to call this man's amazing return to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment, if there ever was one. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 222 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Gentlemen, WrestleMania has just become undeniable. After six years away from WWE, made a show-stealing return and defeated Seth freaking Rollins. It was a heck of a debut, but Rhodes has his sights set on the main event of the Showcase of the Immortals. There is no reason to doubt that he can make it to the main event and win. Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor. 
and won't hesitate to go after anyone. Cedric Alexander, former Cruiserweight Champion, former Raw Tag Team Champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. This guy is future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Time for Mello to make that money. The richest man in all of WWE, Cameron Grimes. And guess what, Michael? His fortune is going to the moon. And his opponent from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. A stock market savant, anything he invests in turns to gold. I wonder if I'll invest in my health food line. Even Grimes' luck has its limits. Yeah. Well, he's going to have to become a completely different person just to withstand the brutality of Cactus Jack. is New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack! You don't win or lose against Cactus Jack, guys. You, you just simply survive. Yeah, easier said than done, Michael. Cactus Jack has proven he will go to any length to win. The most disturbing thing about Cactus Jack is that there is no limit to his pain threshold or his will to win. And that's what makes Cactus Jack such a dangerous competitor. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. of the soft-spoken, calm competitor. Oh, Cole, those days are done. D-U-N-N-E, done. Yeah, now he's more like a rabid animal. Him so dangerous. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are about to see a wrestling clip. Here comes Brutus Creed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team. 
Team Champions, Brutus Kareem! Few men in WWE can match this guy when it comes to pure wrestling. Except maybe his brother. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do. Already a multiple time NXT champion looking to dominate all of NXT. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the NXT champion, Braun Breaker. Within two years of his debut, he won the NXT Championship twice and unified it with the NXT UK title. Many more titles in this young man's future. Okay, you're walking into a massacre when you step into the ring with the beast Brock Lesnar. I sure hope this dude updated his life insurance. has evolved into a main event single star on his own. A lot of bark, but even more bite from the British Bulldog. He has an amazing physique, tremendous strength and power, but he's very agile as well. You're absolutely right. The British Bulldog has so many tools at his disposal. Two-time Hall of Famer. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. Despite his innovative streak, the Hitman is as old school as it gets. The excellence of execution. Representing the Hart family proudly. Has arrived. And his opponent from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, Weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles, intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition. Fight. 
Amazing strength, agility, and heart. Booker T. Hey, if Booker T can survive the streets of Houston, Booker T can survive anything. How about an encounter with Sax Diesel? Well... This man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. We've seen it so many times when that bell rings. Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. his freakish power and crazy athleticism. Make no mistake about it, this man truly rocks. And they don't call him big for nothing. seven championship for a month and was the youngest champion in that title's history. That's a million times longer than both of you held it. At least I beat Corey to win it. Bad 
Buddy has stolen the show in WWE before, and he may just do it again tonight. And we'll probably see once again that Bunnies can... The animal has arrived. One of the toughest competitors in all of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the A multiple-time World Heavyweight Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, Batista has earned his spot atop WWE. A founding member of Evolution, but the animal himself has evolved to the top of the food chain in this industry. success both in the ring and in Hollywood which is insane because for some reason the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough well no question about it Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight See if the calculations are correct for Axiom. Angelo Dawkins! 
Hey, Dawkins is sometimes overshadowed by Montez Ford's high-flying ability, but Dawkins is one of the best amateur wrestlers in WWE, a collegiate standout. Angelo Dawkins has held tag team gold on NXT, Monday Night Raw, and SmackDown, and looks to continue succeeding tonight. Well, the one thing with Angelo Dawkins is that he always has a lot to say, but always brings his A-game to back him. The Lethal Lothario is here. The high-risk heartbreaker, Angel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel! One half of the lethal lovers, Los Lotharios. And now women are interested in his cousin Umberto, too. What a great wingman. for this Lothario to get lethal. Everyone in the WWE Universe on their feet in awe at the size of Andre the Giant. And his opponent from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Only one, Andre the Giant. Yeah, a man whose supremacy is unmatched. And a man who helped build the very foundation of WWE. A tower of a man, but the epitome of evil and destruction. Andre can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Not your normal opponent. Andre the Giant. I have no idea how you would go to battle with this guy. A truly awesome figure to be. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Because here comes the Ninja Master. The Master of Martial Arts. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kobe, Japan. Weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Are you ready for the power of Tozawa? I sure am. One of the toughest strikers on the roster. Tozawa possesses stamina for days. Just me, or is anyone else expecting him to be completely pulverized by Andre the Giant? I agree with you, Saxon. There's no way to truly prepare. Tonight just became phenomenal. A terrific striker, a master purveyor of high-flying, innovative offense. AJ Styles has competed at this level for decades. Such a special and his opponent athlete. from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion fire and desire, and we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight.
The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. Brock Lesnar's been a dominant force his entire career. And Brock's double-digit world title reigns should be all the proof you need. Lesnar's won multiple WWE and Universal title reigns. King of the Ring, the Royal Rumble, and Money in the Bank. And perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Lesnar's crushed countless champions and legends throughout his storied WWE career. I got a real strong feeling we're going to see more of that dominant. The Tribal Chief has arrived. And his opponent. Representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. Part of the pantheon of all-time greats in the WWE. You can count on one hand the amount of people who've held the championship as long as Roman Reigns. for too long. Corey, how do you beat Big Match John? 
I don't have an answer for that question, but I hope, I pray this superstar brought something special to the ring tonight. Otherwise, he doesn't stand a chance. to the rest of the locker room because he has found his true family and the Judgment Day is their name. even more and there's nobody who can stand in his way island man has arrived dexter loomis is here and his opponent from recluse wyoming weighing in at 230 pounds dexter loomis just the absolute nothingness when you look into Dexter's eyes, it's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now. Somehow this superstar needs to avoid allowing the Punisher to rule over this match with fear. Making his way to the ring 
from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And Diesel looks set to run over tonight's competition very quickly. Jackknife powerbomb can end a match in seconds. The black glove is ready for some haymakers. Diesel's got his sights set on the opposition. A bad night for anyone but Diesel. Comes the clown prince of Tony WA. And his opponent from parts unknown. Weighing in at 245 pounds. Doink the clown. A true master of mind games. Doink and his evil tricks have confused many opponents in the past. And I have a feeling the same will hold true tonight. Doink makes me want to bite my fingers, chew my toes, and hide under my bed. This is a family game, Saxton. Keep your personal life personal. There is pure evil in the eyes of the clown right now. Yeah, th th there is nothing funny about what Doink is preparing to do tonight. Wait, is he looking at me, Corey? Yes, and he can't stand you. Coming from you, Saxton. Maybe. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. Well, sometimes you forget yeah. just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time. All right, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about. It. Make his name at his family's expense. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. It's been very to watch Dominic Mysterio grow into his own man, to control his own destiny. Well, some would say that Dominic Mysterio these days is walking down a very dark path in his career. in the world. I agree with you, Cole, and it looks like Dominic's already starting to realize that potential. Here comes the technical Terminator. A physical reckoning. And a consummate technician. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Don't judge Gulak by his somewhat smaller build. This is a dangerous, dangerous individual. No shortage of fight at all in Drew Gulak. 
Drew Gulak has a distinctive reputation as a submission specialist. An incredibly high in-ring IQ and raw determination possessed by Gulak. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Forget that incredible moment for Drew McIntyre when he won the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania 36. Something tells me the countdown to Claymore has already begun. The Scottish. is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. And without question, one of the most pivotal superstars in the history of our industry. Now you're right, Byron, a true hero on both sides of the Monday Night Wars. From WCW Cruiserweight Innovator to WWE Champion and Hall of Famer. Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? The cocky young cruiserweight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. And his opponent from El Paso, Texas, Weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! The former WCW Cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who has held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's light. He's not sure if he ever will care. Somehow, this superstar has to maintain his composure. Otherwise, Eddie will certainly get in his head in short order. He's in humility. again claimed his spot atop WWE. A Hall of Famer who has survived judgment and embraced his darker side to become even more dangerous than ever before. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds, the Rated R Superstar Edge! You know, Edge 
Edge has won and cashed in the very first Money in the Bank contract. And he's found so many unique ways to win. He is truly the ultimate opportunist. But I'm so happy to once again walk with Elias. Well, personally, I miss hearing Zeke speak. And his opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. to throw morality out the window. You have to be willing to sink to the same depths as the rated R superstar if you want to survive an encounter with Edge. Nitro defeated Raw in the ratings for 83 weeks. He handles business in the boardroom, but is never afraid to compete in the ring. Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. 
Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Well, Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. The stylish and classy side of Imperium. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium. From South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! A man who believes the mat is sacred, but why not look good doing it? His resume looks good, too. Multiple NXT tag title reigns and complete dominance alongside Imperium. We are about to see a picture-perfect performance courtesy of Giovanni Vinci. And he's certain to make Imperium proud. rage and an endless appetite for destruction. A man who thrives in hostile environments and can take you out with one move. A brash high flyer who can do it all. Except shut up about it. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia. Weighing in at 206 pounds. Grayson Waller. Already quickly risen through the ranks of NXT. Never afraid to pick a fight. Though there's no guarantee he'll actually fight fair.
You can make friends or you can make money in this business. And Waller's going to make a lot of money. Has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! Look at the pure determination on his face. It's determination and confidence, Cole, because Gunther knows exactly how good he is. Gunther knows he is on another level. It seems like Gunther is rarely in a good mood. I mean, does it hurt to smile? That's not necessarily true. Gunther smiles on the inside when he fillets an opponent's chest with his chops. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. impressive list of accomplishments. He's extremely dangerous, and he's not the kind of superstar you want to turn your back on. Should have been humble when Pat McAfee beat him at SummerSlam. <laughs> it got worse, though. For the record, Happy Corbin is a wonderful human being, a philanthropist, and I consider myself personally very lucky just to know him. The undisputed leader of the New World Order. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan! Hollywood has worn many hats. Icon, savior, Master Manipulator. Yeah, Hollywood Hulk Hogan has also become obsessed with power and driven by placing the industry's heroes in major jeopardy. This industry only has room for one icon, one hero, and we are looking at him right now. Looking to take over even more of WWE tonight. A superstar who has headlined everything from Starcade to WrestleMania. Every move he makes is history making. Transcends sports entertainment. 
and Hulkamania continues to run wild here tonight. WWE Universe is going crazy! I don't understand why all this hot dogging and grandstanding already. The match hasn't even begun yet. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's going to power him through this match. And by the way, what you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. Finally found that aggression it takes to break through. And his opponent, representing Los Lavarios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Uberto! An athlete who is both captivating and handsome. A true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. Consequences, he faces the wrath of Hulkamania. And not many superstars have been able to say they've survived that rap. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. He's here to save the day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! Let's be honest, guys. This guy has about as many superpowers as he does brain cells. You know what, Corey? It just seems like you are green with envy. Oh, my God. You did not go there. I did.
snake is here. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. And Jake the Snake Roberts has such a sinister mind, and he has this ability to dismantle his opponents from the inside out. with sinister credentials. Jake the Snake Roberts looks ready to drop his opponent and then let Damian do the rest. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, J.B. Now here's JBL, a Triple Crown Champion. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and US title. He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey guys, have I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. for the Irish ace. This is gonna be good. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D.'s recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. Uh, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone. Yeah, J.D. McDonough loves putting the human brain and body through severe trauma. This guy is pure evil. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, JD, JD, fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. He's not only the king of Memphis, he's the king of all wrestling. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Ha, the man I beat at WrestleMania. <laughs> well, on a more positive note, uh, you gotta respect the King, still competing and calling matches in his 70s. Uh, Still that. losing. <laughs> Why don't you give it a shot, Saxton? Well, maybe I will one day. You've only got about 10 years left. Whether you call it pro wrestling or sports entertainment, the king is synonymous with it. 
And he earned that crown by being one of the best in the ring and on the microphone. Watch out for the right hand. And his opponent, representing the bloodline from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, main event, Jay Uso! Main event, Jay Uso. The right-hand man to the head of the table has held many tag team championships, but main evented, won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. The sky is the limit for Jey Uso. intimidating superstars you'll fall and his opponent representing the bloodline from san francisco california weighing in at 251 pounds one half of the raw tag team champions jimmy Uso. jimmy Uso may not be alongside his brother jay here tonight but jimmy Uso is just as cunning as ever. Hey, superb athletic abilities here. You can say that again. Jimmy Uso has the ability to fly around the ring and still hit like a truck. Honestly, guys, Jimmy Uso is the complete package. I've never agreed more, Byron. to give them something to celebrate. Here he comes. The high flyer of Legado del Fantasma. And his opponent, representing 
Legato del Fantasma from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 175 pounds, Joaquin Wild. Wild once survived a life-threatening injury in Mexico. He was abducted in NXT, but somehow always overcomes the adversity. Yeah, every fight for Joaquin Wild seems to be a fight for survival. Wild is well versed to battle in many different styles and constantly pays homage to his lucha roots. Yeah, lightning quickness and as precise as they come inside the ring. They're on their feet for Johnny Wrestling. The fall is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Gargano is no stranger to success. He's main event at some of the biggest events in NXT history. And Johnny's well equipped to continue that upward trajectory on the main roster. It's time for Johnny Wrestling to show the world why he earned the nickname. And I cannot wait to see it. A true amateur standout, Julius Creed. And his opponent, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Julius Creed. Yeah! A guy with all the tools to succeed in WWE, wrestling skills and an intensity level that's off the charts. If you're looking for some good old fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. The sky is... Kane continues to live a tortured existence and is hungry for revenge. Pure demonic rage in his eyes. Beating up the infernal flames of hell. The Big Red Machine is here. And his opponent from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! You know, for years, WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking what was under the mask. Go, get up. If he is not prepared heading into this match, I guarantee you he's going to be the subject of unspeakable horrors courtesy of Kane. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, Karrion Cross.
no doubt one of the most dominant big men in history. And his opponent, representing the Outsiders from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Known for his many factions and alliances, also for betraying them. Yeah, when it comes to Kevin Nash, you know that Nash is not here to make friends. Kevin Nash is only here to make money. Kevin Nash has dominated his competition for years. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. As calculated and controversial as they come, Nash has next level power and also next level tricks up his sleeve. Devin Nash quite simply knows how to win. Can he make this his show against KO? It might get higher ratings. Oh, shut up, Saxton. This is always the KO show. Kevin Owens is always ready for a fight. And his opponent from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston! There's never an easy day at the office when the bell rings and Kofi Kingston is on the other side of the ring. Yeah, if you're feeling funky, Kofi will have no problem meeting you. Kingston is more than happy to fight fire with fire. Himself, 
the megastar. Well, he won't be one of those in the fashion world, but LA Knight might be able to earn that moniker in the ring. Well, I don't think anybody's going to argue the point that LA Knight is one of the most arrogant competitors in NXT history. I would agree with you, Saxton, but LA Knight has earned that arrogance with big wins over top talent. Well, now LA Knight is set to dominate all of WWE. The one, the only, Logan Paul. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Well, there are quick learners, and then there's Logan Paul. You can count his matches on one hand, but he's already a main eventer and in the championship picture. tonight make way for Ludwig Kaiser a man dedicated to the cause of Imperium and its leader Gunther proving time and time again that the mat is sacred and his opponent representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! A piercing look on his face. No nonsense, all business. You know, I was minding my own business backstage, and this guy stared me down and then yelled at me to move out of his way. Bravo, Ludwig. No matter who you are, Ludwig Kaiser is a truly intimidating opponent. Now, practically unflappable, strict, and regimented. And there's such precision in everything he does. Juices aren't titillating. We've seen your suits. You have no eye for fashion. Wait for it. God, I love that pose. Look who's here. The cream of the crop has arrived. And his opponent. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. If you want a blueprint for how to be one of the top superstars in all of sports entertainment, look no further than the Macho Man. Not even that, Byron, but consider the amount of influence that Randy Savage has had on the entire sports entertainment industry throughout the years. 
a real trailblazer, the Macho Man. The madness, as always, in peak physical condition tonight. Uh, it must be the meat snacks he eats. has already paid dividends. Madcap Moss won the 2022 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. There is pure aggression on the face of Madcap Moss. I cannot wait to see him compete. One-man fashion show. Monsoir. Hey, hold on. I thought I was the one-man fashion show. No, you're just an idiot. <laughs> and his opponent, representing Maximum Male Models from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds, Mansoir. Sad that Mansoir used to be an inspirational underdog. Now his only focus is fashion. Did you see what he used to wear? This glow up is inspiring, Saxton. Well, let's see if he's as good in the ring as he is on the runway. One of the most beloved superstars in WWE, Matt Riddle. One of the toughest, too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 216 pounds, the original Bro, Matt Riddle. Don't let the scooter fool you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high-flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so many ways. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! When you're an A-lister, Byron, humble leaves your vocabulary. For the first time in a long time, NXT is now must-see. I agree with Corey. That's a disturbing combination. He's the greatest man on the planet. He's accomplished everything in his career. Reality television star. Yeah, and his ego is his worst enemy. Weighing in at 200 and 
32 pounds, Montez Ford. Well, Ford has enjoyed tag team success here before. A big personality befitting the biggest stage in sports entertainment. Yeah, but tonight expectations are high. I heard a rumor, Saxon, that Tez has a special WrestleMania beverage in that cup tonight. Enthusiasm for competition. Cup in hand, ready for a good time. But will throw hands at any time. And himself. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. McMahon. Well, there is no WrestleMania without. Mr. McMahon. There's no paycheck for you without him either. That's a very good point. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. Promises you will not forget his name. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Once consumed with retribution, he has now returned to the light. And Corey, he is now more motivated than ever. Oftentimes, Mustafa Ali shows he's got more guts than brains, but he is all heart. Well, Ali has faced a lot of adversity in his career, but the one thing we've learned is that Mustafa Ali never stops fighting. Industry. MVP has led countless others to success. Yeah, but MVP does not let those others hold him back. He's always, always scheming up something. Here's a man who is no stranger to the sweet taste of success. And he knows how to get a win. MVP will win by any means necessary. Because of 
that vast international experience. Highly skilled. He's the first Israeli-born superstar to compete in WWE. He's got a, bit of, a little bit of his own swag going, too. He's smug. He's not smug, Cole. He's confident. It's in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. And his opponent, from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant, Omos! You want to talk about how dominant Omos has been already at his WWE career? This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. Well, here comes the man who's completely transformed himself, the prize student of the Alpha Academy, Four Point Otis. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis! Otis is laser focused and has destroyed everyone who stepped in his path. Well, Corey, he's not gullible anymore, right? I agree completely. Otis is a superstar to be reckoned with. The number one guy in the Alpha Academy. I don't know about you guys, but I miss the old Otis. This new Otis makes me want to hide under the announce desk. Good, we'll let you know when he leaves. Oh, this is my favorite part, he's gonna sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up, now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me, stand up and say what's up. What's up, what's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this, or you can get with that. You better get with this, cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Too many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers. Step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing R.K. Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! A third generation superstar who had no hesitation when it came to creating his own path when it comes to creating his own legacy. Randy Orton.
Orton has done just that. Prior to NXT and the WWE Performance Center, it has been said, if you were going to build a WWE superstar from the ground up, it would look exactly like Randy Orton. Has every tool needed to be a legend. Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. Superstar who fought his way from the gutter now to the top of WWE and he has amassed a treasure trove of gold in the process. Always oozing machismo is the bad guy. for the 24-7 title for one night. One of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! Rey Mysterio has the ability to mix up styles at a moment's notice, and yet always finds a way to win. Jr. proved he was willing to bet on himself and succeeded in the process. Each time this man steps in the ring, he leaves the audience jaws on the floor. Rick Boots is here! 
and his opponent from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick Boogs. Well, he's more than a magician, right guys? Rick Boogs' intensity level goes to 11, and it's stuck there. Trust me, Boogs does not have an off switch. That's actually a good thing. Rick Boogs has plenty of amateur wrestling accolades, a college wrestling standout. You would be mistaken to underestimate Rick Boogs inside the ring. An absolute powerhouse, and he's one of the best weightlifters in WWE. Well, tonight, Rick Boogs looks to melt his opponent's face off. in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. The Brawling Brute, Ridge Holland. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. A top competitor in professional rugby for over a decade before joining WWE. It's tough enough to even survive professional rugby for a decade. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Well, it certainly applies to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. The watch out for the and stick face. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! He's held the Intercontinental Championship, multiple tag team titles. And Kishi may be the best dancer in WWE history. Besides you, Cole. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Hey, did you guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes to get ready for my age? Anyhow, Corey, what do you think about Rikishi and his career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, yet dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard-hitting, and no one has more fun than the big man. What about me? Saxton, get off the desk. This is not permission for you to twerk. Ah, oh, raising the roof, Corey. Watch me.
can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. You think about Rude, guys, he lives large in and out of the ring. Does Robert Rude ever stop bragging about how talented he is? Listen, when you have that much bravado, you gotta back it up. And Rude does just that. It is undeniable that Robert Rude is a polished competitor. More polished than the top of Saxton's skull. They're not that glorious to me. I'll show a little respect, Saxton. Now he's a very intimidating opponent. Piper possesses legendary toughness and a legendary mean streak. to rest and actually prove himself. The dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the emperor of Lucha Libre. And his opponent, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos. Back to the box of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. One of the founding members of the New World Order. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. I happen to know a lot of kids who got detention for throwing toothpicks in people's faces. 
Well, I was never one of those kids. I would never throw a toothpick in class. That's because you were usually the target. Scott Hall always ready to create chaos and pain, no matter the company. Razor, Hall, a threat no matter what name he goes by. One of the coolest and most confident competitors ever. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall! No finesse, just pure brawling ability. Scott Hall comes to fight and to hurt his opponent. Who can forget this man's immortal quote? Hard work pays off, dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Well, I'm pretty sure Scott Hall is about to cause some bad times for his opponent. assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. The skyscraping Shaggy is here. The following contest it's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from India, weighing in at 341 pounds, the sky scraping Shanky. Seven feet tall, 315 pounds, and possibly the best dancer in WWE. I'm better. I've won many dance contests. Check the facts, Saxton. But I just don't know how he can fully prepare for one of the greatest competitors in sports entertainment history. I can't believe I'm agreeing with you, Saxton, but you're dead on. Stop up! And his opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Charles Michaels. I don't believe there's been a greater performer in the history of WWE than this man, the Heartbreak Kid, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. 
Without question, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, has paved the way for countless superstars here in WWE. It may be popular nowadays, but no one has used the super kick quite as well as HBK. And none have ever done it better. for all of our sakes. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title has earned, every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about... just keeps getting better. No, get up. We are looking at a next level athlete, a true hybrid competitor. And Shelton Benjamin is dangerous, whether in a faction, tag team, or singles action. ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back.
Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. He will do so. The Texas Rattlesnake looks ready to hunt. Oh, buckle up, we are about to see a fight. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve. Well, if there's one guarantee when Stone Cold comes to town, you know he will leave every ounce of sweat and tears inside the ring. Yeah, don't forget about the few pints of Steve Weiser is going to be left over after this match. Hey, no matter what he does, it's going to be fun to watch. He claims he will lay waste to a soft society. Bonus 
to DiBiase. Yeah, but listen, Michael, we all know money doesn't buy everything. Yeah, but it does buy most of the good stuff. As the Million Dollar Man always says, everybody has a price. And out. Uh -huh. That is a opponent game. from Live Oak, Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neal. As smart as they come, but also as strong as they come. No doubt, a great manager, a competitor, a philanthropist, and a Warrior Award winner. Titus works just as hard in the ring as he does outside of it. And that's bad news for his opponent. <laughs> Make way for a ruthless opportunist. Hey, a true Blackheart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT Tag Titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game. We are moments away from a true exhibition of authority. In the ring, he commands respect. He's a technical mastermind. Triple H has seen it all. Triple H has done it all. And much like his nickname says, Triple H is always at the top of his game. The creator of the pedigree, a truly devastating move. Yeah, and he's mastered how, when, and where to utilize it. And yeah, the pedigree almost always guarantees the end for Triple H's opponent. I guarantee Triple H already has plans on when to use it tonight. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. That yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar.
Prince Pretty has entered the building. And his opponent from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Breeze. He owns many homes around the world. Tyler Breeze, very accomplished superstar here in WWE. You know, guys, Breeze flew here on a private jet direct from Milan just to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. Oh, what a nice guy. Considers tonight a quote unquote prove yourself match. Well, Tyler Breeze is treating tonight like it's fashion week in his opponent's face, like his cat ball. to mean either the beginning or end. Well, that's because when you face Umaga, it is the beginning of the end. here tonight. Complete obliteration of anyone else in the ring. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goose bump inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Undertaker. Sinners beware. Your time has come. Enter the Reaper. You could say daring to confront the Phenom is like digging your own grave. The Undertaker will drag you through the depths of despair. When you see the Undertaker, you're witnessing one of the most amazing spectacles in sports entertainment history. Without question, Michael, a merciless force of destruction. When the Undertaker is around, no one is safe. Defined dominance at WrestleMania year after year. 
one tombstone after the next. Fallen legends, fallen champions. The quest for everlasting life in WWE goes through the dead man, if you dare. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The wrath of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. think it'd be possible, but somehow The Undertaker has become more sinister and even more evil. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds, The Undertaker! been leading the Ministry of Darkness and spreading evil in WWE. Right, but there are still so many questions about the higher power Undertaker himself claims to be at the service of. I think the question is now, who can stop the Undertaker or the Ministry? ability, Vader leveled the competition in Japan. He yeah, also adept at high-flying moves and has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. about to trample over everyone in WWE. My advice for any Vader opponent, run. Here comes the intimidating Vader. Six foot four, 275 pounds, of pure punishment. And his opponent from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, 
Veer Mahan. It took a while for Veer to arrive, but he's been dominating ever since. Yeah, Mahan's got big victories over many top names in WWE, including Rey Mysterio. Look at the rage in the eyes of Veer. I fear for the opposition tonight. Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Wesley. He was known as a tag team competitor before joining WWE. Even won the Dusty Classic and NXT Tag Team Championships early in his WWE career. But now has grown as a singles competitor too. Winning the NXT North American Championship even. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air on the display like none other. Ridiculous instruments. Hey, you can multitask, Corey. Don't be a hater. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds. Xavier Woods. At one point, was the king of the ring. What a benevolent ruler. He spent years raising the profile of Kofi and Big E. So it's good to see Xavier finally getting his just due. An author, a musician, he's got a PhD, and he is WWE royalty. Woods wakes up every morning to chase dreams. This dude is all heart, all passion. A member of a revolutionary fashion. I think someone's about to get flattened, guys. And his opponent from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! He is a multiple-time WWE Champion, the winner of the 1993 Royal Rumble, and a truly unstoppable athlete. You can't get him over the ropes or off his feet. Yokozuna is truly an immovable object.
very focused look on the face of Yokozuna right now, who no doubt is ready for battle. I suggest Yoko's opponent take heed of the ominous warning, Banzai. To independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. And from Utah, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Chongqing, China. Zaya Lee! Press to find a more mysterious or more dangerous superstar on the roster in WWE than Zia Lee. Zia Lee brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. Always hungry to take on the best of the best. Always hungry to take on the absolute top competition in WWE. Stratisfaction guaranteed. Now, when you talk about who is the greatest competitor in the women's division's entire history, you gotta mention Trish Stratus in the conversation. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Watching Tamina devour her opponents makes my body hurt. Don't even dare try to side-eye Tamina. She'll make you pay for it. She's held the Tag Team Championship, and she's oh, none other than Stephanie. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Here she is, the one true architect of the women's evolution. Well, if Stephanie McMahon doesn't feel like she's earned the respect of the superstars around her, there's one guarantee. She'll beat the respect out of them. A true quality of a great leader. As tough in the rag as she is in the boardroom. Hey, Stephanie. The weapon of mass seduction is here. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Not only are her looks exquisite, her kicks are lethal. 
Legitimate athleticism. The perfect aim with those long legs make her a very difficult opponent. She's a dancing star, but a main streak a mile long. Mean streak almost as long as her legs. Who is all about the power. And from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full time in mixed martial arts. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tag. Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Well, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. survive and she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring too mma grappler who is always ready to fight from sioux falls south dakota the queen In fact, Shayna Baszler finished most of her matches by submission. And those skills have translated to WWE Women's Division dominance. Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited. They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. A great young talent with an extremely bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Laredo, Texas, the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. One of the biggest names in women's wrestling before joining WWE, trained by Booker T. You can't judge her by the company she keeps, but she is definitely living up to her hype. You can see the passion for competition in Roxanne's eyes. The very definition of young and hungry. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, 
and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And arguably one of the most highest profile signings we've ever seen in WWE. And you can thank one person for that oh, signing, boy. Byron. Here we go. Stephanie McMahon. Does this woman have the answer for Ripley's trademark toughness, do you believe? Cole, I don't know if they're... Get ready for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? Maria Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feel a little squeamish? A little uncomfortable. Ready to brawl. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. A Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Look at her physique. Look at the size of her back. Well, Raquel Rodriguez also has a great personality, even though every time I ask, she won't share her workout tips with me. That's okay, Saxton. You couldn't survive Raquel's warm-up. All hail the queen. Queen Zelina. All hail Zelina. Queen Zelina Cole. Put some respect on the crown's name. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina. Winner of the first ever Queen's Crown Tournament. Lest we forget, Zelina also became one half of the most beautiful tag team champions in all of WWE alongside Carmella. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. She may be diminutive in size, but Zelina is a master strategist inside the ring. And you're about to see her brilliant mind at work. And strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons! Already a favorite of the NXT crowd, it won't be long before the entire WWE Universe catches on.
martial arts display from Lions. And I think we'll see plenty more of that in this match tonight. And true trailblazer in the women's evolution. The fearless one has arrived. Nikki Bella is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Nikki Bella. Such an inspirational story. Someone who had to return from a career-threatening neck injury to become one of the most successful superstars in the women's division. Somebody find out whoever caught Nikki's hat so Saxton can cover his bald spot. Well, I always bring a Bella hat in my luggage. Of course you do. Well, here comes the corrupted superhero. You know, I often wonder, does Nikki even want to try to find the right path? Eh, probably not. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A. S. H. Inspirational or delusional? I say inspirational, motivational, impactful. How can you not be a fan of Nikki A.S.H.? Easy. She's delusional. Such a Debbie Downer. What does almost a superhero mean? It means you don't need superpowers to be a superhero. You can be a superhero by just doing the right thing, by just trying your best, Michael. So if you left the commentary desk, would that make you a superhero, Saxon? Because that's the right thing. That's a bad example, Corey. Self-proclaimed boat, best of all time. Utilizing her style, honed inside the dungeon, and always maintaining supreme focus inside the ring. Natalia has earned the right to refer to herself as the measuring stick of the women's division. You're right, Corey. Natalia is an all-time great here in WWE and seems to get better as time goes on. Beauty in the brains behind the mist. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice! Oh, what a blessed evening it has already become. We are staring at elegance personified. Yeah, there's nothing elegant about her underhandedness. I don't trust Maurice at all. You wouldn't know what to do with a woman like Maurice, Saxton. I wouldn't want to do anything with a woman like Maurice, Corey. She has a very questionable attitude. There's nothing to question. Now one of the most popular competitors in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became Miss Money in the Bank and then successfully cast in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. Time to get extreme. From Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! You know, so many of today's top women stars say they were inspired by Lita. The likes of Becky Lynch, Bailey, Liv Morgan. Yeah, but Lita wants to be more than just an inspiration. Lita wants to remain a top WWE and prove she is still at the top of her game.
a battle-hardened veteran and one of WWE's toughest women. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans! I'm kind of surprised she didn't make us do her entrance twice. Well, it's because you're just like the WWE Universe, Saxton. You aren't giving Lacey the respect she deserves. Listen, I'll give her respect, but I still think she has an attitude. The sassy Southern Belle is gone, gentlemen. You are now looking at a woman possessed. Here comes Caden Carter. Such an exciting talent to watch. And from the Philippines, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Caden Carter. Well, guys, Caden learned how to brawl from two of the most extreme boys at the table. Yeah, Caden Carter then took her talents to Mexico to incorporate Lucha Libre into her style. And now, she's putting it all to good use in WWE. Carter getting the WWE Universe hyped, and I can't wait. Oh, indeed, I believe a highlight reel performance is in order tonight. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. One half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Katana Chance. I'll give Chance this. She is a very, very hard worker who is always up for a challenge. You know, she won tag team gold in NXT. Yeah, but also still a threat in singles competition as well. in my opinion here in WWE. She's proven herself not just as a capable singles competitor, but also a tag team competitor as well. <laughs> oh, here comes trouble. But also here comes one of the top young talents from NXT. And representing Toxic Attraction from Tampa, Florida. J.C. Jane! Jane is a multiple-time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co-holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of J.C. Jane's dominance. so accomplished I can't wait to see what JC does next well you won't have to wait much longer Cole make way for the evil genius of the sky and an evil genius who is now in control. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan. One half of the women's tag team champions, Io Sky. An NXT women's tag team champion, a Dusty Classic winner, NXT women's champion, and multiple time WWE women's tag team champion. Yeah, there is truly no limit to the future success of EO Sky, especially with damage control by her side. 
A lover or hater, Sky has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. You're right about that, Saxon. If we're lucky, we'll see another one tonight. The genius of the Sky about... is here. Quite the impressive young talent. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Hey, Indy once held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. career at the age of 17 years old. Yeah, she's one of the youngest female competitors in WWE, but already has a veteran's mindset. Don't let the looks fool you. Dolan can be as tough as nails in the ring. And with toxic attraction by her side, nothing can stop her. Dewdrop is here and ready for a fight. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Dewdrop! Well, lately, Dewdrop has developed a serious edge to her. You're right, Byron, and I like it. Dewdrop is doing what she has to do to stop the competition. I tell you, there are some times when Dewdrop seems unstoppable inside that ring. Plenty of power in her game. Hey guys, you ready for some flex appeal? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. She's a WWE veteran who's appeared to be hitting her stride recently. But listen, Dana Brooke has been synonymous with the 24-7 championship, and she recalibrated her career direction. Right now, Dana Brooke is fully focused. I think that's the problem. I think Dana pays too much attention to the WWE Universe. Dana Brooke needs to take care of business. Tremendous energy and desire. She's hoping to solidify her, her position in the championship mix. Courageous, gutsy, and getting... Here comes trouble. A superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And... Representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, one half of the women's tag team champions, Dakota Kai. 
Our world traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude, but besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, now she has even more help in the form of Damage Control. rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge to her. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. Amazing young talent already won the NXT Women's Tag Titles and has main evented a number of times as a singles competitor as well. tonight, maybe she'll do some skating after the match. Or maybe she'll crack that skateboard over your back. In WWE history. And from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China! She is a bona fide trailblazer for women's wrestling. She's made history her entire career, especially during the Attitude Era. Yeah, what a career China's had, and of course, her relationship with D-Generation X putting her on the map. Former champion in her own right. A former Intercontinental Champion, Cole. And a women's champion. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's gonna have that same mentality here tonight. The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. She always finds a way to handle her business. And she shows why she's the most ruthless and dominant woman in sports entertainment history. Always guaranteed to have a vicious plan of attack. Most are playing checkers while the queen is a grand master at chess. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! She's won.
won multiple titles. She's the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's married to the best commentator in the history of the business. Carmella is proof you can have it all. She's not married to me, Corey. Shut up, Corey. Superstars. Well, she was once a feared villain, now a beloved pioneer. She's the first woman to compete in an I Quit match, and she's also been a part of the Men's Royal Rumble match. The Glamazon steps into the ring tonight with one thing on her mind, annihilation. The man is here. A competitor who never backs down from a fight. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Uh, about to learn very quickly as this woman uh, how difficult it is to contain damage control. Difficult, Cole, that might be the understatement of the year. It's practically impossible. a woman who is here to take control. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Now, Bailey claims that she's the one that built the women's division. It's a claim Bailey has every right to make. She's the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion in history at 379 days. 
Listen, Bailey couldn't be more aggressive. She couldn't be more vicious. And she claims she's a role model for all the women in WWE. I can't believe Bailey has gone so far as to shave the name of her rival in the back of her head. Who does that? Well, those of us that have hair to work with Saxton generally try to do mind games like that. Maybe we can get you a dry erase board for your head. Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. And from Osaka, Japan. this gentlemen Asuka has a combined 914 days without defeat in NXT and WWE and Asuka has remained dominant even after that historical streak Think of all the memorable clashes against Bayley, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, just to name a few. Was invincible in NXT, every bit as dominant on Raw and SmackDown. If you look deep into the eyes of Asuka, you can almost see your demise. Already a first ballot Hall of Fame career, but her accolades keep on growing. setting competitor. There are already plenty of accolades and a very bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Aaliyah! She has the quickest victory in WWE history, beating Natalia in 3.1 seconds. Hey, who knows, Michael? Maybe she'll break that record tonight. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. Here comes Five Feet of Fury. And she's got backup. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard-hitting, high-flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. in nearly every major women's division, the longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion. Calls herself the Forever Champion, and she has indeed earned that moniker. Descended from generations of warriors, fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. 